Hey everyone, welcome to another CMake video. Today we're going to talk about declaring macros using CMake. So obviously looking at this program here, you can see if we hit build, it should say hello CMake. And indeed it does. But let's say you want to use a macro to turn this on and off, like if the hello macro is defined. Okay, now if this is defined, we want to show it, otherwise we don't. Well, it's currently not defined anywhere, so you can see it's grayed out, which means that it should not work, but let's see what happens. And it doesn't work. Very good. What if we define it? Does that work? And you should already know the answer to this, probably. And let's see if we run it. Do, 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 do. It does work. And if we want to do something more sophisticated, like if it equals testing and we put define testing equals hello if we build this again it still works so yep everything appears to be working but let's say that you want an options file or you want to do this somewhere else other than inside your actual code you want to use your build environment to do it because Maybe you want to trigger something off of your operating system very specifically using CMake, um, where it does a different combination of header files. Maybe if it's a, um, a Windows version and you want to do it that way as opposed to some other way. Maybe you want to set a 64-bit variable or if it's a paid version instead of a free version, you want to turn stuff on and off or I don't know, you probably have hundreds of ideas that I can't think of off the top of my head. So let's look at how you declare these things without actually using this define up here. So let's do the first example where if hello is defined. Well, that's very straightforward. You just come in here and put add compile definitions and we're going to just define hello. As simple as that. And Fortunately, Visual Studio, once you include all the little CMake add-ons, is smart enough to not have it grayed out anymore. It recognizes that this will be defined. And if we run it, we'll prove that it works. Very good. I'm going to clear this just so that it doesn't keep filling up the screen. Now, let's say instead we want to do if hello equals testing like we did earlier. So if I save this. Um, you can see it grays out because it doesn't equal testing. It exists, but it doesn't equal testing. And to prove that, we'll run this, and there's nothing here. However, if we come in here and just use a single equal sign oop, inside of the parentheses, now it will be defined as testing. And if I build this and run this, there it is. It's working yet again. So as you can see, this is not very hard. It's pretty straightforward. I hope you liked this video. If you like my CMake content, do hit that like button. Let's me, let me know you like the CMake content and to make more videos on all of these different aspects of CMake. Also, if you like the stuff you see on this channel in general, please do hit the subscribe button. It um, gets it out to a larger audience. And um, I don't know, it's just encouraging for me as well to see that people are enjoying the content. So if you want to send me a little bit of encouragement that way, um, it's free. It's free encouragement. Um, that You can't say that about everything. So um, please do that as well. Anyway, we do look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, keep making awesome programs. And we look forward to seeing you in the future.